Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, we are going to see the CBT mode demo because CSI net examination is being conducted in the CBT mode, computerized test. Now, what is about this CBT mode? And basically, people confuse with the normal mode, with CBT mode because there are some point of confusion. So, let's clear those doubt in this particular video. In this picture, in the, in the, in the computer screen of mine, you can clearly see the CBT mode demo, the page of a CBT mode and how it should look like. Here you can see there are four different sections. Okay, this is section number. So let me uh, take a color and put the section numbers. This is section number one. Okay, and this is section number two. This is uh, the section number three. Total five sections will be there. This is section number four, section number five. So I'll divide this CBT mode uh, page into five different sections. The section number one deals with uh, your details. The candidate's name, exam name, subject name, remaining time and clock uh, will be visible here, which is very, very important. And in the same section, in the right hand side, you have a drop down for selecting the language, whether it be English or Hindi in case of CSI net examination. Then comes the section two, which consists of the questions. And the question one, question two, the number of questions you select, it will be visible here in the question, section number two. Now, uh, here you can see the section number five, uh, the number of questions will be written in small squares. So once uh, question one is selected, it's highlighted in red. If you select question number two, it will be highlighted and question two will pop up here. If you select question three, question three will pop up here. So the detailed question will be visible in section number two and the questions will be visible here, all the question in the section five. Now let's look at little down from the section number two, that's section three. This is where you have all the options uh, for individual questions. Either you can save and uh, click next, save and next means you select the option with the option one, two, three, four or A, B, C, D. And if you click save and next, then that option will be recorded and will move to the next question automatically. You can select a question, let's say you select two, but you need to deselect it. You can click clear, it will erase that option it is that selection you can not uh, you may not select a question but instead what you can do is simply you can save a question and mark for review you can do that or you can only mark for review and go to the next mark for review means basically uh, what happened you know in normal page based paper or questions what we do is simply select some of the question for answering them in later times when we get some extra time, maybe we have confusion to these questions. So you can simply click mark for review and click next to see the next question. But mark for review means the question, although you select something, but this, the option is not recorded. So if you select a wrong answer, it will not reflect in your answer screen until or unless you click save and next for that. And save and mark for review is basically you just select some questions, save it for future reference, future reviewing of these questions. But this review means if you select this review tab means the questions, the options that you click or selected, they are not fixed, they are not permanent, they are not recorded. Okay. And uh, here comes the section four. In the section four, you can see the overall progress of your question paper answer. That whether uh, the number of questions you have visited or you have checked, in this case 99 questions. Uh, the number of question not answered, the number of question answered, marked for review and answered and marked for review. Now there will be difference between the two. The marked for review only question will not be taken as your response and will not be uh, marked based on uh, the reviewing scheme. But answered and marked for review will be considered for evaluation. So remember that if you have many high number of questions, let's say two, three, five, six different questions in answered and marked for review, and you're not sure whether you are uh, good enough to answer that question or not sure about 100% uh, confidence to answer that question, then please go and select these questions and go through them, either select the option or clear the option. Otherwise, they will also be counted. So these are all different sections of a CVT mode CSI UGC net examination. Now CSI UGC net, any other examination, CSI net life science, CSI net chemical science, CSI net earth science, all this CSI net mathematical science, all this examination have the CVT mode. And in the CVT mode, this should be the page of the CVT mode. Now enough about the CVT mode page. Now enough about the CVT mode uh, page. But what we need to understand 
is beyond the CBT mode. Many students have this confusion or problem uh, to decipher the CBT mode. The reason behind is that they are good in the paper mode. But the problem with the CBT mode is that paper, you can uh, turn the pages, you can see the questions and answer that. But in CBT mode, you need to select questions and also the clock is showing all the time. So these things you cannot uh, overcome. But what you can do is basically stick to the type of question in the right hand side, particularly the section number five that we saw, that is consisting of all the small section of square. So you can directly jump it to the different questions and can answer them based on your choice. Now, the best thing regarding the CBT mode, how to make CBT mode examination even better, how to make the experience of answering CBT mode exam questions in a better way, this uh, is depending on practice. So the more practice you'll do, the better you'll get to answer CBT mode. So the best way to practice the CBT mode is obviously to answer question based on the same CBT mode pattern of examination. That's why we at Shomus Biology are providing you a series of CSI net uh, mock test series based on the CBT mode where you can test the preparation strategy, you can test your preparation skills with the help of our well-tuned question paper for all the 13 units plus all our units together plus the part A or paper one of CSI net examination in life sciences. So if you belong to the CSI net life science examination field and if you want to appear in this examination, if you want to appear in the CSI net examination for the CBT mode and if you fear the CBT mode, then the fear time is gone because believe me, if you take our mock test series of 17 different question papers ranging with 12 unit tests and three different big all together mock tests and two paper one tests, you will be prepared for the upcoming CSI net examination for sure. So the price is also kept very low. It's only 1700 rupees for 17 question papers. So 100 rupees per question paper is the rate for this examination, but it's clubbed. So you need to take all the question paper and series for 1700 rupees. And also sometimes there are offers. So look for the offers as well. You can click the link in the description. I also put that uh, details here in the description. If you click it, you'll be redirected to our app. You can download the app and can continue to take that test at your convenience. You can attend the test more than once to test your score and understanding of the subject with the help of this particular test series. So all the very best for the upcoming CSI net examination and wish you very, very best and you must qualify. Always all the very best for the examination. Thank you. Bye.